Hey y'all, it's Cooper and Critics, and we're here to review Captain Marvel, the latest MCU movie, starring Brie Larson and uh, Sam L. Jackson and a host of other people I can't think of at the moment. <laughs> uh, but this movie, uh, you know, of course ties into, you know, Avengers franchise and uh, what's going on with, uh, you know, Endgame eventually, you know, it, it ties directly into it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we get to see uh, Nick Fury uh, and Phil Phil Coulson when they were a bit younger back in the 90s. Really young. They did a great job. They, they, they did a great, great job on the de-aging of those two characters. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, primarily, you know, as the title might suggest, it's we're mostly following Carol Danvers, aka Fears, mm -hmm. um, and how, you know, she's connected back to Earth, but, you know, she lives on the Kree world and she works with the Kree and, you know, it's all about the fight between the Kree and Scrolls. Scrolls are shape-shifting aliens and all that. Mm -hmm. um, so, overall, I really enjoy this movie. Um, my least favorite thing is um, the first act feels a little disjointed. Um, but when, by the point we get to Earth, almost everything I'm a big fan of. They just Those first couple of scenes, I wasn't... Like I was understanding what's going on, I was absorbing like all the dialogue, a lot of the scenes, but it it didn't like really grasp me at any point. But w when she started interacting with Nick Fury and we were learning about the whole conspiracy to try to take out the scrolls and ha how she gets more powerful, all that mm -hmm. I really liked, and seeing her uh, meet up with her friend uh, Maria Brambo and mm -hmm. seeing her little daughter, mm -hmm. cute little girl, oh, it was all cute. fun. Yeah, yeah, I mean. It just wasn't. You said it wasn't Infinity War. No, it's still in there. You're just like, well, Eric, if it doesn't read that greatness, no, 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 no. what I'm worth not, the I, salt, I, salt is worth? I haven't said anything. <laughs> you jumped into it's not Infinity War. Like, yeah, it's, it's not Infinity War. I'm not allowed to tell a joke. No, but I don't think it's even Thor at the um, Dark World. It was okay. I, I like seeing um, Colson. I like seeing Nick Fury. Um, the guy, I think the guy that was in Star Wars and played the, the scroll. Uh, ben Mendelsohn. Yeah, he was really good. He, he played he the was, scroll he, in Talos. He, he, yeah, he's really good. I was like, wow, that was that was good. I, I wanted to see his face, but... You do? Yeah, but more often. Mm -hmm. It's just... Then when I saw... Um, uh, it was cool to see they, they, they got all the practical makeup. But yeah, it was very well done. And the transformation, that's, I thought, was quite nice. It was that busting out of scenes. It looked like sea foam. Yeah, it was <laughs> interesting. Um, the, I don't know, it's just... I don't know what I wanted. Mm. I like when she... The end scene, when he went, went against Ronan... That was kind of cool. I mm -hmm. enjoyed that. It was very, very well. It's a spoiler mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't seen Rollins in the movie. Um, yeah, in the previews. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted more of that, and uh, I don't know. It just, I guess her fight scenes. She always seemed kind of stiff. It isn't like it. Well, like when, when the um, what's her name Natasha Romanoff. Uh, like Widow yeah Scarlet her Jones. punches and her mm -hmm. choreographing is not as stiff as hers it's, she's like she's trying to punch but it doesn't whoever does the choreographing and Black um, Scarlett Johansson's um, fighting style it's mm -hmm. just it's just on another level when they, she was fighting um, um, Bucky Barnes and then she would come up with that knee like pss, pss, mm -hmm. and those hits I felt those hits. These hits are like, eh. It's like, I don't know. And every time she walks away, she had her hands clenched. Mm -hmm. she, I don't know how tall Brie Lawson is. She's like, she had her. I mean, are you going to argue with this woman? You know, oh, the no, shooting no, no. photon lasers? No, 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 no. It's just, I don't know. It's, it was something about it. I don't know what it is. I like um, the visuals. Great. Mm. Um, I thought the visual. I, I wanted to see her as Captain Marvel more than uh, Carol Danvers. It, it just. I liked her, 
her back and forth with Nick Fury. She you was, don't think she was super heroic enough? Oh no, that was that was not a problem. Okay. So no you, problem. you said do you want to see more? I like Marvel and I, just can't feel. Well, that. I, that's like that. I just want to see more of this actual superhero. I guess it's like wait, waiting for the D- David Banner to turn into the Hulk all the time. I, I just want to see more of that. Mm-hmm. And um, I thought it was I thought it was it was a good movie, but when I buy this. Would I would I have it in my my rotation to watch? Mm-hmm. I would like I would like to say no, but don't get me wrong. I don't have Black Panther up there, but I like Black mm-hmm. Panther way better than this. Not because mm-hmm. I'm black, but because I liked it. Well, I, I like Black Panther more, and it's not because it's yeah. black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like oh god, early. No, it was just it was just I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. I guess anytime you do it, I think the part that throws it off for me, anytime you go back in time and you know people are going to survive, the stakes are low. Like the prequels in Star Wars. Mm-hmm. I knew Obi-Wan was going to make it out of it, so there was no real worry. I know she's going to be in the next movie, so there's no real worry. So it was like, uh, I, I knew they were going to make it out, so the stakes, oh, well, he's going to make it out. So I was always going through that prequel um, Knowing what's gonna happen, oh, Coulson's gonna make it out. This person made it out, and I think fucking everybody made it out. Mm-hmm. Well, nobody, nobody died, and nobody t- t- was taken out. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple of scrolls, and, yeah. and when I saw the guy who um, hangs out with a uh, Ronan accuser, mm-hmm. the black guy with the um, I can't think of his name. Oh, he said, "I'm Star Lord, dude." I'm like who? Oh, uh, I, I can't think of the actual. Yeah. Character's name, yeah. but he's played by uh, Dijamon uh, Roussan. Yeah, yeah. And um, I knew he was going to make it out, so I was like, well, maybe mm-hmm. Carol or Kill. Yeah, I was kind of expecting, like, he would, like, get a big splash in his head. That's why he was yeah, like, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but but we, we, we finally know how Nick Fury, <laughs> the guy's eyes. I was like, <laughs> hey, dude, I was like, well, why is this, like, these cuts? So, yeah. Because of an alien cat. <laughs> 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 And I, I, I guess Nick Fury in the beginning part of the movie, all the other movies, he's a little more serious. Mm-hmm. And I guess he's young. They said he played a more not as serious because he also didn't know what was, I guess, his first time out. He didn't know what was going on. Yeah, he, he, he didn't, didn't, he didn't know, know about all the crazy comic book shit that can happen. Yeah, so, to, to him, it was just pretty normal world. I mean, maybe you're doing you some terrorists. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but uh, they're back and forth. With Brie Lawson and Nick Fury was very good, mm-hmm. but um, you're playing off Nick um, Samuel Jackson. It's hard not to be look cool. I mean, mm-hmm. little fits. Uh, it made uh, Josh both look good and Pulp Fiction because you're playing off Samuel Jackson. It's just mm-hmm. it's, he's gonna, you're in a scene with him. You, it ups your game no matter what. So I wonder how mm-hmm. good this person is. I need to go back and see a movie. With her in it, I think she won an Oscar or somewhere, an Academy Award. Yeah, I think there was a movie called, uh, I think it's called Boyhood that she was in. I have to watch it. It was like because this this I don't want to. This is my first time seeing this person in a movie, and apparently she also has a a small role in a movie that you like, Trainwreck. Trainwreck. What's that? Trainwreck. Uh, Trainwreck. Um, it's a movie. uh, Amy Schumer. She was in that. Yeah. As who? I don't know. I, I didn't watch the whole movie. Oh god. I, I mean, I, I was too like bored watching Trainwreck to like, <laughs> care. I gotta watch it again. Uh, I didn't know but, she was. You in. know, hey, I think she was. A, I think she was a smiley girl. She had, she had a friend that's. Oh. But you know, that's, yeah, I, got, I gotta see. I gotta see. But it. that's not the attack on a performer or. Uh, but no, my, my dad's taste or anything like that, you know, just different opinions. I, I don't like Amy Schumer anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just stuff that went my shoot I'm like over the mouth, like, oh wow, this is. You're a train wreck, really. Uh, I, uh, whatever. But um, it was something about her character, even when she. It, spoiler. We're getting spoilers now. Right. Even when she was at the end and she finally showed up, she seemed out of place. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't know what it is about these characters.
character. Or it, I don't know. I, I can't pinpoint it, and I shouldn't comment about something or say anything about something I can't pinpoint. It's just, I hope it's not my uh, bias or anything like that, but it's something that seems off. Other than that, it was good. Mm-hmm. I, I like there as more of the, the like I guess everybody's saying the buddy cop type situation they were riding around they were cracking jokes and hell they were washing dishes at the end mm-hmm. like it, it was I guess I wanted more climactic if she's supposed to be the strongest Avenger mm-hmm. more climactic well I don't know how many Avengers could fly this well none could fly Vision probably could do oh, well, he, Tony he, did too <laughs> but, but he's kind of dusted away <laughs> well <laughs> I think he's not dusted. Oh, no, he's not dusted. Okay. He's not dusted. He's turned gray. His, yeah. his gem was removed from his head. I think he'll be back. Uh, I think um, Siri did enough sniffing to hopefully um, bring him back. At least we'll have a gem in his head. But um, I, I don't know. It just. You know how it was? When I saw Dark World. I had no expectations for mm-hmm. Thor Ragnarok. I, I said, had it low. I'm like, oh, when I saw the previews, I'm like, oh, Thor, and you got the Hulk in there. I'm like, oh, I was getting pretty excited, but all the other ones just just so meh. I wasn't expecting anything, and this movie was a meh. I'm not saying it can't be the, first, the second one or the other one they do next. It's just, I wasn't, I'm sitting there like, huh. Okay, and then that whole scene with the the lunchbox mm-hmm. uh, and the music choices, the music choices like uh, I, I like nineties music, but mm-hmm. I'm just a girl at that perfect time. Like they're like, mm-hmm. okay. the parts I did like, mm-hmm. I first standing up when the. Um, the, I, the AI had her pretty mm-hmm. much trapped and the, I guess an inhibitor chip the same thing that um, Thor had on him to prevent him from going supernova or going full of th- God of Thunder yeah um, the scenes of her getting up every time they try to pr- portray this girl as uh, weak and docile and you have to have us to be with us and they omitted all the parts when she stood back up she got back up mm-hmm. they cut that out and I, I just thought it was well done. That part I, I enjoyed a lot. Do you know what? I, I'm happy when they did, but I'm not used to as a comic book reader. Yes, uh, showing so much sympathy to scrolls, because usually uh, in the comics they just make scrolls look like the worst thing possible, and just try to make them almost like demonic in a way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this, you're just like, oh, they're just refugees trying to survive, and I don't think it's you know a mistake that. You know, they come to Earth, you know, around the Mexican-American border. I don't think that's a mistake. I don't think it's a mistake either. They call the the whole Earth a shithole. That mm-hmm. should have been my clue right there. I think the people who probably read this did have a agenda. Mm-hmm. I, well, maybe an agenda, but uh, they drew from life. They had some statements. Oh, yeah. Yeah, whether you interpret them... That's on you, <laughs> but you know it's something that was on their mind definitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I, 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 one thing I was worried about, I was, I, I thought the scrolls could could die, and I was actually worried about them. That just like seeing, oh, they're, they're not these these scrolls that we have on this ship are not harm to anybody. Like you know, like they're, they're hanging out and like you know having jelly sandwiches with like you know the Rambo family and all that. Okay. Uh, Another scene I, I didn't... I did like the scene when he finally came to the house when the, the, the scroll and started mm-hmm. talking. Yeah. Because it, 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 I did not expect that little curve. I'm like, okay, this is different. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed that. I'm like, they started talking, blah, 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 going back and forth with the comments. and It was kind of entertaining. And he was very disarming. That would kind of threw me off. Mm-hmm. I wanted him to be bad, but he was very charming, very disarming. Mm-hmm. And um, the scene with the little girl out in the back with his door, with her mother, which was a scroll, um, I said, like, okay, this is good. This mm-hmm. is a nice tension area. What are they going to go from here? And then they cut to the shot of trying to convince Derek Carroll, or Carol Danvers, she's 
they were outside, and she, because I guess she just can't take it, she walks outside, and she, I'm quite sure, it was, a, it was a big mind fuck to have this happen to her, mm-hmm. but I didn't need that scene of them talking of, with the scroll and the Rambo outside talking, you are just talking her up, she didn't need it, I, I think that whole scene could have been cut out, that whole part. Well, I, I think having that, you know, helps establish why Talos is like this, and helps us understand you know why he did what he's doing, what why he oh, yeah, 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 yeah. invasion. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. It gives him character motivation. No, no, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about for Carol. Well, it, it, it's it's still something that she she has. You know, th- this movie is about finding her identity, which was taken away from her. You know, she, she was just she's just like, oh wait, she's powerful. Let's take her under our wing and make her do all these things and not really tell her what are the replications of these military projects, you know, of, you know, trying to exterminate, you know, innocent people. I don't think there's too many movies I see with Jude Law or the end I like. Okay. So when I, wait, wait, you say you like this movie. I do. It's, but it's, it, it's a C plus movie at best. In my mind. Well, I, I, I don't think just having, you know, a present actor makes a movie good. Oh, no, 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 I'm <laughs> saying that. But it just given his track record of things I've seen him in, I, I can't think of a movie right now off the top of my head. Like, wow. I like him. He's a great actor. Yeah, because, because I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, Anthony Hopkins was, like, one of the main characters in, like, one of the Transformers movies. Yeah, but that guy fucking did um, Hannibal. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, he yeah. has... Uh, he has a track record. Yeah, I mean, the dude can act his ass off. I'm yeah. not saying that at all. Yeah, but I don't... I can, name a Jude Law movie that you like. Name a Jude Law movie that mm-hmm. I like? Uh, I can't think of any Jude Law movies. Like, I, I don't watch him like that. I don't yeah. keep a track of his career. I, I only movie I can think of that I really liked him in was AI. Huh. I really liked him in that. And, uh, like everything else is like... I think... Uh, if he, now I, I might be missing up actors, but if he's the the main character from um, Professor Marston and Wonder Woman, that movie is really good. Professor Marston. Yeah, Professor Marston, uh, the gay the guy who uh, created um, Wonder Woman. There's, there's a movie about him that came out really two years ago, and the, it, like the preview showed up. And I'm the only one that knows what the hell is going on. He's like, what? They're making a movie about this? I know about this. You know, he, he had, like, his wife, and he had, like, the, the other chick, and they had a, uh, you know, tr- tr- trial relationship, and, like, he made one woman, and they were into, like, some really crazy BDSM shit. It, it's... Uh... Okay. If, that, <laughs> if he did that, then I will have to check that out and give uh-huh. it a new review. But, um, so, yeah. C plus, maybe a B? Maybe a low B mm. for the visuals alone, and then I don't know. I maybe maybe I'm maybe actually I'm coming off the Thanos high. It's fucking. Hard. It was. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna say that you're wrong or anything. Like, you like <sighs> you, you, you like were just like Eric. How can you not think that Spider Man Edge into Spider Verse isn't, isn't fucking amazing? I like, didn't. No, I didn't say that. It just uh-huh. I thought it was but compared to. I like that better. Mm-hmm. I actually like that better. Um, but, but but you, you did look at me funny when I, when I gave that one a C. Yeah, you're fucking insane. <laughs> 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 That shit fucking amazing. Uh-huh. It, 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 Into the Spider Verse was what? It was a cartoon. Two, <laughs> hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm so, I'm trying to. It's hard. Everything after the Wake Up Thanos seems weak to me. Yeah. Only thing that didn't seem weak. What, what, what I say in the beginning of this review, you can rewind it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but only thing that didn't seem weak to me. After that was fucking Spider Man the Spider Verse. These are the only two movies I think I've seen um, after the snap. Oh, and Ant Man. Mm-hmm. Ant Man was after the snap, right? Mm-hmm. Ant Man and the Wasp. So um, that was that was better than this. About how much? I, I, I'll, I'll agree because I, I I did enjoy that one. Yeah, more. I mean, so 
I think giving it the place of a C plus is not bad. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's like your wife offering you some food that she gives you all the time. Like, eh, eh, you want this? You, I'll eat it, but I'm not excited to have it. It's, it's, it's okay. I, I, it's, just, it's the same old, same old. Well, you know, you know, this movie made me cry in the first few seconds. <laughs> what? What part? No, the first few seconds. What was the that? opening uh, of the Marvel logo with the Stan? Oh, Lee. fucking Stan! That was the best part of the movie. Uh, I, I was very happy to see uh, his cameo because yeah. he was reading his script for his role in Mallrats. That was Mallrats he was reading. Yes, he was I reading the script. I want, I want a Kevin Smith movie. Yes, yeah. Yes, he did. Oh, did Kevin Smith lose his shit? Yes, he did. Oh fuck! Him and his daughter both cried uh, when that happened. Oh. He's reading more rats. Because oh, I yeah. I'm about the same thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, fucking Kevin. I know you lose. Oh, uh-huh. I got to watch that shit. Yeah, yeah. I got to watch it. Especially that. since that many people will remember Mall Rats. I fucking love Mall Rats. <laughs> it's, well, no, 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 no. Out of all, like, all like, Kevin Smith movies, it's probably one of the ones that's talked about the least. This is. Oh. Yeah, I guess, but. Mm. To have Stan but, Lee, but yeah, this the, 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 like oh. but the standout of that movie was his talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was a good call. <laughs> That's a fucking good. I was like, because I saw the script, like, I really, because I didn't, I was paying attention, like, who's you gonna attack next? And I saw him reading. I knew he was reading the script, but I was listening to what he was saying. Mm-hmm. But I, Dude, I think, you, but, but I think I'll. If well, you drink, I would buy you a beer. That was a fucking good call. But I, I think you know, even though I think that. You know, it was a lot of pudding for the first act. I think in subsequent watches, I'll, you know, appreciate it a little more. You know, it, it happens with a lot of movies. You know, uh, you know, just yeah, the nature I, of the beast. Yeah, you know, I, I'm most likely to have to watch it again. Mm-hmm. And um, I think you're right. You just when I'm in the movie, I'm trying to absorb everything. Exactly. And, and I'm not really focusing. Oh, that was that was well done. That was well done. But it's just like the scene of when they hit the old lady. Those hits. And those scenes seem mm-hmm. more grounded. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it, that's a big reason why I, I liked it a lot more by the point that we were on Earth. Because, you know, w- when we were on, like, uh, whatever planet mm-hmm. and we were just looking for scrolls, you know, it, just, like, the lasers shooting everywhere, it, it didn't feel, like, you know, tangible at all. Well, like that... When she had those things on her hands mm-hmm. and she was fighting, none of those hits felt like. I got you. I mean, I can't, I can't disagree with that. Um, but you know, I, I think I would give this movie a B. Yeah, maybe in a subsequent watch, I'll give it a B plus. Uh, you know, I, I think it's serviceable. I think predominantly it is fun. I did enjoy myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I do think we're gonna see um, little Monica later because oh, yeah. she, she is uh, Pulsar and she was another Captain Marvel. The, her mother, I was wondering because I'm like, wait, Maria Rambo. Mm-hmm. He was like, oh, Monica, Monica. is a daughter. Yep. I'm like, yep. okay, so maybe we'll have like an actress, you know, about thirty, you know, playing her. Uh, yeah, because new movies. All right, so this is. This is in the nineties. Yeah, mid nineties. She should be that. Yeah. So I wonder when when Carol Danvers was out of space. She didn't age one bit. She looked exactly the same. So I wonder if they were like, well, maybe like time vortex, well, like time that. dilation, like mm-hmm. when you're not at air, people on Earth will age at a certain rate. So I'm quite sure that's because she was all across the universe. So that makes sense. But How tall is she? How tall is she? Oh, can Brie Larson, because she. Well, I saw her near Black Widow. I think I think Black Widow got. Some, I didn't think Black Widow was big, but Brie Larson is supposed to be tiny. Mm-hmm. I I want to see her fight the Hulk or somebody like that. Well, I wanted to see her take a hit at uh, Thanos and actually drop him. I like. Mm-hmm. Then then you. I, I mean, at that point, yeah, we we could we could talk. Judge me by my size, do you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, all right. You know, all right, all right. I take this back. This scene when she. Is in um, Ronan accusing, and she goes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, that was hot. Yeah, and he was just that like, was hot. Maybe another day. No, no, no. I need some real forces. Yeah, out here. exactly. <laughs> Ronan didn't have all the other stuff. Like, yeah. oh, I like, dude, fucking Cree. But I like. But, yeah, but part of me wants to see like 
you know, you're kind of noticing anything different about the character of Ronan and uh, uh, not Nick Fury, um, uh, Phil Coulson, you know, in, in movies that they were previously in, if mm-hmm. I can notice anything or, you know, any tidbits of, like, old information uh, from this movie that is, like, you know, kind of retconning in because, you know, we're, we're looking back in the past. She just showed up. She didn't go through a wall or something. How, yeah. how did she get into uh, the Avengers HQ so easily? Well, I'm quite sure she went through a fucking wall. But <laughs> like, dude, I'm here. Why? You, if I call you in an emergency, don't go through my fucking wall. She just showed up. Like, where's Nate? Like, she's like, this is an emergency. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't worry, I got creative technology to fix the wall. Okay, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> And why did Nick Fury call you? Oh, I'm sorry. Why didn't he call her all the other times where Earth was being attacked? I, I think he didn't think it, it was it was crazy enough because he, he, you know, started working on the Avengers Initiative earlier than we thought. That's a good point. And he's just like, you know Carol. what? We, we got a god. We got a Hulk. We should be good. There's just a few aliens popping out of the sky. There's just a few robots in, uh, you know, Eastern European country. We're probably cool. But people are dusting away. Okay, no, no, no. That's well, too I, much. No, I, I dusted away. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I like the more serious uh, Nick Fury. This, this easygoing buddy cop thing. Like, mm. Don't you see? His, his right. character change happened with the, the cutting an eye. He said, you know, the last time I trusted somebody, my eye was sticking out. Well, how did the fucking, did the cat actually, well, what was they kept calling it? It's not a cat, it's a what? I, I don't remember what they called it, but it was, it was like some weird alien yeah. creature. It reminded me of some men in black would do, like some weird, yeah. Uh, mm. I, that first thing I thought, like, mm, but it was a cute cat. But, so is the cat going to poop it out or poop out the people? Or I, I, They got to get a tesseract out of the cat. So, well, um, whatever it is, got to get it out of there. I, so. I, 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 I don't fucking know. <laughs> but, you know, just tell us what y'all think. Uh, yeah. you, we are half, at least we're half glass full. Um, you, you know, my dad's a little less. No problem with that. No, she plus. So tell us uh, what y'all think. Uh, and, you know, you know, we love you.